In news this Saturday morning, there is a festival going on today that promotes literacy, but also encourages reading. Kim Hudson is live at Reedy Press in St. Louis talking to an author who knows a thing about history of St. Louis. Kim, good morning. What an interesting story. It's almost time for the Missouri Book Festival. It's coming up next weekend in Washington, Missouri, but we're here live in South St. Louis with a preview. I want to bring in a woman that I have learned so much about. So uh, to producer Joe, this live shot might go a little long. Carolyn Miller, she is an author. And let's first start with the book that you have out about Forest Park. So many amazing things. I, park is bigger than Central Park, but a lot of people don't know it's just packed with free stuff. It is. Forest Park is for sure my favorite place in St. Louis because there's so much to do, so many free things that you can visit. You can go to the zoo, you can go to the history museum, the art museum, but it's also just a beautiful place to walk around and enjoy the wonderful weather we're having. And also, you're a zookeeper. I told you I learned a lot about this lady <laughs> in just the last few minutes. You're a zookeeper. What is your favorite animal at the zoo? Um, I like to say my favorite animal is whoever I'm caring for that day. Aww. But as we spoke about a little bit, our polar bear Cully is a pretty special guy. Aww, absolutely beautiful. My favorite animal is the Malaysian sun bear. Uh, and a lot of people don't understand the zoo is free, whereas a lot of other uh, zoos are not. Uh, can we talk a little bit about your latest book? This is absolutely adorable, but it addresses a very serious topic. Lily, a true story of courage and the Joplin tornado. That's a twist. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so Lily, it celebrates the bond between humans and animals and what we can do with animal training. Mm -hmm. um, this is a book about a search and rescue dog and her owner that came in and helped after the Joplin tornado. And it's really all about the helpers, the people who come in oh. after a natural disaster, disaster or something bad happens and help out a community and kind of get them back on their feet. And I think it's so critical for a really great book like this, especially in a children's book format. Mm -hmm. Us adults were terrified when something happens. We were all just heartbroken around the time of the Joplin tornado. But I hear from firefighters that sometimes kids, when they need to be rescued, they tend to hide from firefighters or they tend to hide from dogs because they're just gonna go into a closet someplace that's safe. Do you think that this will also not only demystify the rescue process for kids, but also keep them safer? I hope so. Uh, when I read the book to school kids, I have them point out the helpers in the book. So not only Lily and Tara, but the firefighters and um, the EMTs and the, the people who come in and are there to help. Um, and there's no better ambassador for them than a cute dog. I agree. I agree. Everybody, we have the Missouri Book Festival. It will be all over Washington, Missouri on August 26th and 27th. We will have links at fox2now.com. For now, live in South St. Louis, Kim Hudson, Fox 2 News.